the quality of continuing to try to achieve a particular aim despite difficulties. We've all been through, go through, and will face difficulties. But the question is, what are you going to do about it? Twelve-year-old me, after the death of my sister, would tell you that you cannot really do anything about it. But 17-year-old me tells you that nothing really lasts, and even if at that moment it can seem unsuperable, it doesn't last. And at the age of 14, after the death of my brother, I was inconsolable. I was told that he was looking at me from up there, and that he took care of me. But the only thing that really mattered to me was that at that moment he was not right by my side. And I could not change anything about it. So, yes, I could not change anything about it, but I could change my perception of it. And that's when I decided to persevere. Because I had been through the same thing two years ago, and I had to learn from it. And this is the first rule of perseverance, learn. Perseverance can be applied to any of your roles, whether it's personal or professional. Walt Disney, he's the perfect example of success and failure. He ran away from home with his brother Roy when he was young because of their relationship with their father. At the age of 22, he experienced bankruptcy with the failure of his cartoon Lothogram, the ancestor of Mickey Mouse. Then he decided to become an actor, and it never happened. And on his race to success with Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, he discovered that he didn't earn the ownership of his character. And all these important events and lessons served him later, because then he produced 81 feature films, hundreds of shorts, and he built Disneyland. I'm going to give you another example, Michael Farley. He was born in a very poor family and received the most basic school education. He then had to work in a local bookstore with a local bookseller at the early age of 14. And he learned all his knowledge about sciences, especially physics and chemistry. But this didn't change life much for Faraday because in the English class-based society of that period, Science was only for those who could afford it. But he proved to everyone that he could jump the obstacles of class with perseverance because his discoveries were astonishing, his theories were true, and now he's one of the most famous scientists the world has ever known. I am firmly convinced that it only depends on you. Studies about who's successful and why in multiple domains show that in military, the cadets who stayed in military training, the children who advanced furthest in competition in the National Spelling Bee, the most effective salesperson in private companies, all had one common point, grit. Grit is passion and perseverance for long-term goals, and it is mostly based on personal conviction and the amount of time and work you're willing to put in. Intelligence has always been one of the best predictor of future achievements, and one might think that grit would be strongly correlated to intelligence. And one of the first questions asked in grit research was, why do some individuals accomplish more than others of same intelligence? And grit was found to be slightly inversely correlated to intelligence, and that shows why some very intelligent people do not perform well over long periods of time. So there's no magic potion to draw your perseverance. You have to draw your own perseverance. Facing any obstacle, you have two options. No more, no less. The easier, persevere. No, sorry, the easier, give it up. Persevere can be pretty easy too, if you want to. So, the less easy, no, the easier, giving up. The end of the chain is quick, the obstacle is still here. The alternative, persevere. The end of the chain may be longer, but the chances of seeing light at the end of the tunnel are higher. You can see perseverance as that person who accompanies you and supports you, 
or someone who just sells your dreams. Perseverance can be your soulmate, or someone you're just obliged to spend time with because of your friends or family. But perseverance is not a holiday romance, it's a lifetime partner, and you spend great times together, but you'll also be tempted to leave him for give up. Give up is less complicated. Because when you think about it, perseverance, as I said, sells you dreams and doesn't always text you back. But you both work as a pair, and you fight for the same goals. So I strongly believe that perseverance is a choice everybody should make. It's not the easiest choice, but it's the choice that everybody should make. And the average lifetime expectancy is 72 years old. And it's your responsibility to make the best of it.